Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead Pater with you today. We're going to be making a salad, a cool season salad for our flock. Every single day for several, several weeks, I have been taking advantage of spring coming into action and all the greens that are all around you, all the weeds that you should have on your property for you and for your hens. Since I have started introducing a lot of these things back into my hen's diet because the weather has broke here in East Tennessee, my egg production has gone up immensely. Granted, spring is here, but I think this has something to do with it. We are averaging about five dozen eggs per day now. Huge. So I really think and I really know and trust that the diet and how you choose to supplement your hens count. So let's go do a collection and see what we end up with today. All right, guys. So this is what I'm doing. You're going to see a mixture of things here. I'm going to collect a whole bucket full of goodies for my flock. I've been doing this every single day, up to twice a day, just trying to supplement them as much as possible as spring breaks. Uh, you know, and all the good things are coming in. So the first thing you want to know, if you don't know, chickens love clover. Oh my goodness, they absolutely love it. It's great to feed to them. All of these things that you're going to be seeing are just nutrient uh, enriched and very dense, high in vitamins. You know, I encourage you to individually uh, do your homework in terms of what these things are and what they do for you and for your flock. But trust me, this is their one of their favorite things. The next thing that you're going to find is chickweed and you are going to love giving this to them because it grows like crazy. It's abundant. I'm actually in just one particular area outside of the barn and I've let it grow. We have not done anything to this area. I do not treat anything on my farm in terms of pesticides. I do treat with a little bit of neem oil or something natural that I create on the homestead, but we use no chemicals. So grab this. They're gonna love it. All right, guys, what you're seeing here is your dead nettle, okay? And it's starting to turn a little bit more purple, okay? So that's good. You have it a little bit of a lighter green area. Now look over here. Clearly, everybody likes natural. So we're gonna be grabbing the dead nettle, the purple dead nettle, and I'm placing it in my bucket right here working with me here we have some more chickweed that they absolutely love and I just come through and I get a nice handful and get what I can several times a day fill a bucket just whatever we can do that day and I'm telling you they're gonna thank you now as we're filming here and we had caught the ladybug and we're coming on over don't forget your dandelions. Everybody talks about dandelions for you. Don't forget about the dandelions, the dandelion leaves and plantains if you have those also for your hens. So we're gonna continue to build. And they're gonna love it. Last but not least, I wanna talk about the wild violets. They grow in a huge abundance here on the farm every spring. Let me take you down just the side building that we're actually about to have pressure washed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Not only are these incredible for you with all kinds of goodies that you can make with syrups and baked goods and different things out of these, but your chickens are going to love them as well. All right, guys, the excitement is so intense. Miss Opal just flew down from the top of the rafters and literally landed in the bucket. So let's see how everybody reacts. Cuckoo la shake! Cuckoo la la! All right, Miss Opal, 